You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to calculate the velocity of a falling ball. A question on this topic would typically be found in the dynamic section of the FE exam, and therefore will give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the actual FE exam. This Pass the FE exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. In this example, we'll calculate the acceleration of a falling ball. You can expect to come across problems similar to this one on the FE exam. This problem reads, the velocity in meters per second of a falling ball is described by the equation V equals 25 plus T plus 5T squared. We are then asked, what is the acceleration at time t equals 2 seconds. We can safely assume that the variable v is velocity in meters per second and the variable t is time in seconds. However, those are probably the only assumptions that we should make. The provided possible answers are a 9.8 meters per second squared, b 20 meters per second squared, c 21 meters per second squared, and d 25 meters per second squared. You probably won't have a visual aid provided for a problem like this, but we can easily envision a ball descending and accelerating. <laughs> it's important not to make assumptions using information that isn't provided though. It would be very easy to choose option A since that is the constant for gravity on Earth. However, we're not told that the ball is accelerating solely to Earth's gravity. We should also realize the velocity equation for an object in free fall subject to Earth's gravity is a linear equation. V equals G times T, where G is the gravitational constant and T is time. Our situation doesn't fit, so we should be very wary of making those assumptions. In this problem, we're given the ball's velocity equation, and it's a quadratic equation. Again, V equals 25 plus T plus 5T squared. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time, and since we're given the equation for velocity, we can find the equation for acceleration we should take the derivative of the velocity equation. A equals dv over dt, or in other words, acceleration is equal to the derivative of the velocity equation with respect to time. We can then substitute in the velocity equation for v. And then when we take the derivative, we have acceleration is equal to one plus 10t. We're asked to find the acceleration at two seconds. We can substitute in two seconds for our variable t, and we find that the acceleration is 21 meters per second squared. Going back to our list of possible answers, we see that this is answer C, the correct answer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems so you can get prepared. Past the FE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or maybe a problem that you need solved. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.